Hey, it's Khalees. If you're new, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. If you've been with me for a while, you may know that I traveled quite a bit um, this past November and December. During those months, I went on four flights and one bus ride total. So of those flights, the longest one was 16 hours and 30 minutes. The shortest was just over four hours. As a first year law student, returning or not, this, um, December and January are busy. Um, during that time, students are applying for 1L Summer Associate and other positions. So if you want to stay ahead of the curve and have a better chance of securing a particular position, especially those that are more competitive, um, it's recommended to submit your application as soon as possible. That means that 1L students are also busy in November researching Summer Associate and other positions, in addition to managing all of their law school coursework. So if you're planning on going on any trips during the summer as a 1L, whether it be for vacation or to visit family, how are you supposed to manage all of these things in addition to your trip plans? One of the best ways to do this is to get as much work done as possible while you're on your flight, um, driving, or if you're lucky enough to be a passenger in a car, train, or bus ride. In this video, I will cover some things you can do while you're on the airplane specifically, but stay posted because um, I do have some recommendations for people in other situations. So, namely, if they're going to be a passenger on a bus, train, or car ride, or if they're going to be driving themselves, which will be uploaded in the coming weeks. When thinking about things to work on um, on an airplane, two considerations are paramount. One, the lack of internet connection, and two, the lack of table space. Regardless of the length of your flight, here are nine things you can do in preparation for 1L summer um, and your upcoming quarter or semester of law school. Your first quarter or semester of law school will inevitably have some mistakes. Um, once the rush of law school and final exams are over, take some time to reflect on what went well, what didn't go well, and what things that you would change for the upcoming, um, upcoming quarter or semester of law school. Full disclosure, I did not do this right after my first quarter of law school, but I kind of wish I had done it. Um, one all year goes by in the, bink in the blink of an eye, particularly your first quarter or semester. So taking some time to reflect is really important because it helps to um, helps you to refocus and think about what you can do to take on the upcoming challenges. In my opinion, the best way to start preparing for one all summer is just by sitting down and thinking about your priorities. There are so many one all summer opportunities out there and it can be hard to narrow down um, which ones to apply to given your limited amount of time and energy. For my law school, we only had a few weeks of break. Um, so thinking about your priorities for the upcoming summer is one extremely helpful way to effectively narrow down your options. If you're a new mother, father, sibling, or cousin, you may want to prioritize spending time with family, wherever they may be. If you want to travel, you may prioritize hybrid, remote, um, or international positions. If you have a particular field in mind, you may prioritize certain firms or organizations specializing in that area. In particular, I recommend making a list of your top three priorities or considerations. For example, um, my three were based on my interest area, the location of the position, and um, opportunities for diverse law students. Another good way to start preparing for 1L summer is by revisiting your resume. Looking at your past experiences, is there a trend towards a particular field? Um, so for example, if you have experience with property management, land use, or real estate law, may be of interest to you. If you've worked in a hospital, medical office, or similar environment, health or healthcare law might be something for you. If you've worked in food service, retail, or customer service in general, employment law might be the right choice for you. Now, just because you have a lot of experience in one particular area doesn't mean that you have to stick with that field. If you enjoyed working in that area, however, um, you could explore. You could consider um, exploring the legal side of it through a summer internship, um, externship, or other opportunity. In any case. Um, 
you should make sure that your resume is updated because you will probably have to submit a resume wherever you end up applying to, whether it be for a government, nonprofit, law firm, um, you name it. If you'll be applying for different types of positions, I recommend having separate, um, creating separate resumes for each. So examples include a separate resume for law firms, one for nonprofit slash government organizations. And if you're applying to, spa to places that specialize in a particular field of law, say employment law, then you may also want to create a separate resume for that. I also recommend tailoring the words used in each resume based on the organization type and field of law. If you need help crafting a legal resume, I recommend talking to someone at your law school's Career Services Center um, or Googling legal resume templates just so you're familiar with the format because um, legal resumes are a little different from other kinds of resumes. One resource to check out is Yale Law School's Resume Advice and Samples page linked below. Just as with resumes, I recommend creating separate cover letters for each of the different organizations and types of field um, that you are interested in applying to, if applicable. Just to give you some real world input, I had four different resumes and cover letters, uh, well templates, so three of them were for firms separated by my interest areas, and then one of them was for government slash nonprofits. Many 1L summer applications, particularly law firms, will ask you for an essay similar to the personal statement that you use to apply to law school. I basically just took my law school personal statement, made some tweaks um, so that it fit the law firm or organization's prompt and word requirements. I had two versions of the essay, um, one that was just under 500 words, and a longer one that was just under a thousand words. Almost every legal internship, externship, you name it, will ask for a legal writing sample. Most people, myself included, will use the memo that they use for the LARW class. Um, so different companies and organizations may have their own word limits. So you should have multiple versions of the same legal writing sample to fit those requir requirements. You may also want to create a cover page for that um, writing sample because I did have at least one place that asked to have a cover page followed by the sample itself. I created two versions of my legal writing sample, one shortened version which was five pages and about 1,800 words long, um, along with my original 10-page memo that I submitted for class which was just over 3,000 words. Many applications will ask for references, so you should think about who to ask and more, more importantly, ask them early on. Though the number varies, try to prepare at least three references. My law school's career services um, center recommends that at least one of these be from law school professors. Um, now for me, at least in my experience, it, it was harder to kind of get to know the professors in doctrinal classes just because they're larger. Um, so that's one of the big reasons why I asked my LARW professor for my LARW professor to act as one of my references. Your other two references can come from any of your experiences during or before law school. I didn't do much else as a law student other than law school, so my two experiences came from pre-law school things. If you have, by some miracle, managed to complete all of these things before your plane ride is over, don't worry, there is still more for you to do. Um, at this stage, preparing for interviews should be at the bottom of your to-do to list. Um, I didn't start getting interview offers until the first week or so of January. Um, and I submitted my applications early. I won't get in too deep with interview prep here, but Yale once again has some really great interview questions linked below in the description. I highly recommend answering all of the interview questions that are applicable to you using your own past experience. I did this myself when I was applying for 1L Summer applications the first time around and found it super helpful. Um, it's also something that my law school's career services personnel um, recommended that students complete, so it's not just coming from me. Some people will disagree with me on this, but I think taking a nap should be its own category. Um, if your law school experience is anything like mine, a law school is a whirlwind. Um, you start the ground running on day one and are likely stressed and sleep deprived by the time exam season rolls around. 
That's why taking a nap is essential. And if you need a three or four hour nap, don't be ashamed. I'm one of those people too. Last but not least, remember to relax. Your first quarter or semester of law school is over. Remember to celebrate that. Read a book, play video games, um, watch a movie, or do something else that helps you to unwind. Just an important reminder, you gotta make sure that those whatever things you're doing to relax can be done without Wi-Fi and within the confined space of your seat. It can be hard to relax after months of doing and thinking about law school from the time that you wake up to the time that you go to bed, um, but this is necessary if you don't want to burn yourself out. When I was on my flights in November and December, some things I did to relax were writing letters to my university friends, um, chatting with my travel buddy, and eating snacks. So the writing letters to my university friends is just something that we've been doing for the past, for quite a few months now actually. So just write letters to each other to kind of update um, what we've been up to and it's super helpful for us because we're kind of living around the world. we got one friend in Japan, one person thinking about moving to Europe and a bunch of people in Canada and then one person, uh, one other person in the States. I'm planning on doing a video on some quick and inexpensive things that help me to unwind during law school, so stay tuned. Before I end for today, I wanted to share one super helpful tip that I received from a attorney at the partner level of a big law firm, um, which was to convert everything that you're sending to as, as part of your law school application into a PDF. It doesn't take much effort and it looks more professional. So for example, if you have like a Word doc for your resume, convert that Word doc into a PDF, but don't compile all of your law school application materials together. I've thought of doing a deep dive um, on some of the 1L summer prep things listed in this video, um, such as resumes, cover letters, um, references, but let me know if you'd be interested in hearing more on certain topics below in the comments. Bye bye!